Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the sub. Subscribe right now and also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. Let's get straight to that station. Ah, uh, Frosh. Call the snake Frosh. I think the guy should just call himself the snake. I know Cobra is a snake, but I mean it in the sense that Carl Frosh is a guy that snitch on himself and is a two faced guy. So, Carl Frosh has called on Anthony Joshua to meet him face to face and deal with their feud like men after receiving more whatsapp messages from aj he said he said right here i quote is schoolboy stuff it's like plastic gangsters it's pathetic really he messaged me again overnight and deleted four messages i've had a barrage of abuse but i don't mind meeting up and dealing with it like men because if you're going to send me messages abusing me then delete this stuff and then you don't pick your phone up when i try to give you a call man to man then what am I going to do? I'm going to expose you for what you are. Well, I see Carfroch as a guy that is very envious of Anthony Joshua's success. Him and Joshua used to be very close. Remember him? They were both at, um, um, on the, in the same stable. Matchroom. Carfroch was the darling of British boxing. He sold over 80,000. Sold out Wembley. I think over 80,000 tickets, you know, against George Groves, then the rematch. But Joshua just came into this. Joshua, I think Joshua fought on the honor card. And Joshua basically overtook every of Carl Frosch, Carl Frosch's, um, uh achievement in British boxing and basically just ran away with it. Basically went, went global. Carl Frosch is not really known outside the, U the, the UK. Maybe my maybe hardcore boxing fans will know him outside the US, outside the UK, and some some maybe some maybe also in the US because of um uh, um the Andre Ward fight. Okay, however, Andre Ward himself is not a popular name like that. You know, we all know that. Compared to Joshua, who has this endorsement and everything going favor. Who worked very hard to be where he is you have to just look at it like okay you he's been trying to call listen car Frosch has turned himself into a joke like he became a youtuber there is nothing wrong for a former boxer to have a youtube channel nothing wrong at all joshua has one as well but he doesn't post often there and he has three times four times more subscribers than uh car Frosch that posts every time the thing is that when you begin to like seek for attention and saying you are speaking facts, whereas you're just trying to like um bad back because someone you knew before doesn't deal with you on a personal level anymore. Because this both of those guys were very close. Very, very close. So I think Joshua saw the the writing on the wall from far away. And just stay clear. And also, when during the Black Lives Matter mo um, movement, that Joshua said something that um, he said people should support their ass, their own as well, which is not a bad thing. I mean, it's not a bad thing at all because Asians, Asians support Asians basically. They support Asian business first. If I look at in the UK, I don't think the Black British really support black bridge business either they don't because black people in general just love to support other people you know what i mean the jewish support the jewish first or the chinese the same thing bro i don't think it did wrong i mean what is that wasn't racist but somehow Carl Frosch was one of those guys you know beating the drum of segregation allegedly saying this was is uh segregationist and stuff like that i think Joshua read this guy from afar and just kind of stay clear. And I think he does he, 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 because he, he stopped having access to Joshua. And then I think that is where the bitterness came from. What do you make of this, uh, Todd Jugbert? Do you agree? Or do you think maybe something else? Well, kudos to uh, 
Carl Froch as a, he had an amazing boxing career. I think so. Can't take that away from him. But for him to come in and try and discredit Anthony Joshua at the beginning of his career almost, you know, is is un, unbelievably the most childish thing you could do, the most like you can say he was he's actually jealous jealous of AJ because I guess AJ has achieved more and has gained more no notoriety or gained more presence of different types of people around the world. He's basically he he wishes that he was he wishes that he was he is, he could be what AJ, AJ is when he when his boxing career was there when his boxing career was was at the peak of his fame not a lot of people were really you know the comeback of boxing was not really there you know people weren't really talking about boxing as much you know they were talking about Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao you know and and those are the lightweights not not the George Groves you know not those guys let's be honest it's true it's actually true you know they just didn't pop off you know the US was the mainstream of boxing at the time okay but as soon as he retired and and when when he retired and AJ started you know doing doing good you know somebody else is different the comeback of the heavyweight he has to admit it you know it, it it was nothing that he could do to 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 change the fact that heavyweight boxing when he was fighting was nowhere to be found but people clamored for boxing and heavyweight the, the heavyweight division so when these names started popping up anthony joshua Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, all these guys, they just these superstars just started popping up. Of course, Carl Fries is gonna get jealous. You know, Anthony Joshua being at the peak, at the at the peak, the tip of the the tip of that sword, being the leader of it all, is gonna go for Anthony Joshua. You know, at, at just at the beginning, it wouldn't stop, wouldn't stop making fun of AJ with the Andrew Ruiz loss, could not, would not even stop. You know, you could tell only the people that hate AJ and are jealous of him continues to bring bring up the Andrew Ruiz loss because if that wasn't the case, they would be bringing up other losses of the current current uh, mega stars. We still not uh, the, the, I still I still have I still haven't seen people cause they, they make fun of uh, uh, Daniel Dubois the way they make fun of Anthony Anthony Joshua versus Ruiz because. Joe Joyce made Dubois quit, <laughs> and Joe Joyce is not nowhere near Andy Ruiz's skill set when it comes to hands. And he made Dubois quit, and this ain't the first time Dubois quit. Dubois quit twice, you know, and you could tell those 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 factors when it comes to Dubois and AJ, who's more of a popular superstar between the two, and. AJ is, and people hate that about him because he's so popular. He's a black man. He's African, you know, or British African, African descent, Nigerian, Nigerian blood. All that, all that clamored into one man, having that one man fame, having that much money, being so influential around the world. Of course, George Groves has can be has can't even achieve what Anthony Joshua has achieved. You know. He doesn't even have what what AJ has. He doesn't have that. He doesn't have that 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 ancestral background, the Nigerian background. So many fans around the world. So many. He wishes he had, and that 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 jealousy is eating him, eating him up inside. Any moment to get, any moment he sees the opportunity to make fun of AJ, he'll do it, and he'll bring up the Andrew Ruiz, much like everybody else. I'll bring up Andrew Ruiz. And you you just tell him what happened in the second fight. Yeah, I thought so. Shut your mouth. AJ beat Andrew Ruiz, and where's Andrew Ruiz now? Nowhere to be found. Okay. And mind you, plenty of fighters in the past have quit. Okay. 
let's not forget uh, 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 two hands, you know, no mas. Let's not forget him. But at the end of the day, you wouldn't talk shit to that guy, okay? Because he'll, he'll, he'll beat your face bloody. And that guy was still dangerous even after he quit. So George Groves, I believe, is 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 a is is an epitome is an epitome of, of a hating individual. I mean, he hates AJ's career to the core. AJ's richer. AJ's more popular. You mean Carl Frosch? I mean, yeah, Carl Frosch. I'm sorry. Not George Groves, bro. <laughs> no, yeah, of course, Carl Frosch. My apologies. As as more going for himself, so the hate is gonna ride. He's gonna ride that hate train and continue drinking that hate juice, okay? Until AJ, until AJ's career, until AJ says, "Okay, this is I want to put my career to an end." But by by that time, AJ has already become AJ has of, of, overshadowed and overpassed him as he is as he's doing right now. Money, everything, everything. Come on, this is, I'm being honest, man. That's where it is. Thanks, bro. I appreciate your take on this, guys. You ready for our uh, Jack Boy? Stay tuned for more. Sweet variety. I'll be right back with more bangers. Let's guys.